I'm now going to mix my um, some greens and some browns. So you're going to need um, your colors. I'll zoom out here. And um, I'm going to take my, um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a green. So I'm going to take one scoop of blue, put it down, clean my brush. And then three scoops, let me clean my brush, of the yellow. So it's going to be a yellowy green. Okay. Take my yellow. Three scoops of yellow. And we're going to need um, a good amount of green, not a small amount. So three scoops of yellow, one scoop of blue. Mix those together. It should make a yellow green. There we go. Nice yellow green. Really thoroughly mix it. Now I'm going to take some of the green, scoop up some green and put it in a separate pile. And I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to have three piles of green. One pile is pretty big. And then I have two smaller piles. Okay. So go ahead and make three piles of this green. One, two, three. And then clean your brush. Yes, you're doing the same green three times. I just made one big green and then I separated it into three piles. We're going to make one of these greens into a brown. So to make green brown, I'm going to add the opposite. And the opposite of green is red. So I'm going to take a little bit of red to start with, just a little bit of red. Okay, and I'm going to put it in one of my piles of green, not the smallest pile. Okay, so put it in this pile here. And at first it turns kind of an army green. And we want it to be brown. So you want to keep adding little bits. So that's, I would consider, an army green. see that. So I'm going to clean my brush, add little bits of red until I get a brown, not an army green. It's getting there. That's a good brown. So now I have two piles of green and one pile of brown. And my piles are kind of running into each other, but that's not a big deal. So now we have one brown and two greens. I'm going to take some of my brown. And I'm going to put it in one of my green piles. And this is going to make a dark green. So I'm going to have a light green, a brown, and a dark green when I'm done mixing all of these. Okay. A light green, a brown, and a dark green. And some people say, well, why didn't you just add um, black to your uh, green to make it dark? Or why didn't, you know? And the answer is kind of twofold. One, blacks are, are black paint. Um, the way they make them, they either base them in red, green, or blue. And I think ours is blue-based. 
So if I were to add blue, black to green, I would have gotten kind of a teal instead of a green. The second reason is painters likes to um, have all their paints be cousins. And so if I could make this darker by something else on my palette, I'm gonna do that so that they are cousins or they're related and it makes a more harmonious painting, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna use my small round brush. I'm just gonna get it wet and kind of wipe off any excess water. And the first thing we're going to make is shrubs or what we call bushes. So in, I'm gonna put my um, small round brush in the brown paint and I'm going to touch and slowly pull, making it fatter, kind of pushing down more, a short stem like we did the trees. So do another one over here. Little bit of touch, skinny line, and then the line gets fatter and fatter and fatter as we go down. So let's make two uh, bushes stems, and then clean your brush. I'm gonna take my small flat brush in the dark green, start with our dark green, just get it on the tip of the brush and I'm going to pounce straight up and down. And it's just like a pounced tree except for it's a bush. So the shape might be, you know, a little rounder. Um, it doesn't have to be even on either side. I'm actually trying to make it not even. And don't forget to pounce straight over the stem. And you're gonna take your pouncing all the way down to where the ground would be. And don't, don't uh, add more paint to your brush until you have all of the paint used from your brush, okay? You want all the paint, because you wanna use the brush when it's not completely loaded, and that will give you a variety in value, okay? So then I can add a little bit more over the, the stem or the stalk or the trunk, okay? Then, cleaning my brush, I'm going to add light green or this original green just to the right side to make a highlight or where the light is hitting. Um, the, the bush, so I'm filling in the right side with the lighter green and going over the stem as well. And with a clean brush, we're gonna add even a little bit more highlight, so I'm gonna actually just barely get some yellow on the tip of my brush. Barely get some yellow. And on the right side, I'm gonna add in just some little dots of yellow. Maybe it's fall and maybe the bush changes a color or um, maybe this is just the color of the leaves. I'm adding it a little bit to the left, but not much, mostly to the right, okay? And so we're gonna do the same thing to the next bush. And I'm gonna write in Bush is a small round and pounce. Okay, so now we're gonna switch to our small flat brush and we're going to make some grass. The first kind of grass we're going to make is meadow grass, meadow grass. So I'm gonna take my dark green and um, I'm gonna take my small flat brush and I'm just gonna pounce across, left and right, pounce, 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 getting all of the ink, or not the ink, the paint off my brush, okay, with the, the dark green. 
and then I can go in with some light green. Pounce some light green in different places. This is the meadow grass. And that's pretty much all that it, you know, so like a field of grass. So I'm going to put meadow was a small flat pounce. Again, with our small flat brush, we're going to get our dark green on the, just the tip. And we're going to do what I call reed grass. So I'm going to, it's kind of like the first tree we did. You hold it vertical. So the brushes are vertical, not horizontal. The bristles, I mean, are vertical. And you're going to touch and pull up. And you don't want them to all go straight. You want some of them to cross. This is like a, a reed grass. Okay, and I use my dark green. I can do some more dark green. Going straight up. Trying to get reeds of grass. And then I can go on top, just with your paint on the very tip, and go on top with your light green. Make sure they cross. They're not all going up straight. And this is our reed grass. It was with a small flat and we did touch and pull up. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is a cattail. Okay, so cattails, uh, you just take your brown, your flat brush, your brown, and just like the reed grass, you're going to touch and pull straight up. Let's make two. Then you're going to take just the paint on the corner of your brush and you're going to dot little, little dots up here for the cattail. This is kind of going into my bush here, but that's okay. Little, little dots. Clean your brush. Use your dark green and the flat brush. And you're going to start right at the bottom of the stalk. And you're going to go out, pushing with your brush, out and up at a diagonal. That's got a lot of water in that brush. And those are the leaves of the cattail. Do it one more time. Oops, dark green. Touch, pull up, touch. Go slow on this. Pull up. Those are cattails, all right?